Artificial intelligence makes fun videos of pets singing or aging photos of loved ones. AI also increases our productivity in unprecedented ways. But it's more than that. It has become geopolitical. In the AI arms race. Dans l'intelligence artificielle. In AI infrastructure in the United States. It has groundbreaking potential to change domains like defense, the economy and society at large. Another crucial point, nearly all popular tools used in Europe are American. Europe does not have the strength that Chinese and American players have. Is that a problem? That's what we'll look at in this video. Let's have a look at this AI technology stack. You quickly notice that we, Europeans, are highly dependent on American players across the board, both for the applications and the underlying technology. This creates a few challenges for Europe. First, undesirable market practices. European citizens and businesses become subject to monopolistic practices by a small amount of powerful players. Second, a loss of European economic competitiveness that is already under pressure, as can be seen by the lack of European presence among the world's top 50 tech companies in the world. Besides, the best European tech talents often end up working for non-European companies. And third, growing concerns about national security. Think of sovereignty over our own sensitive data or attacks using generative artificial intelligence with potential impact at a scale that is difficult to predict. Before we take a closer look at this, how did the American lead actually come about? We have identified several key success factors for OpenAI, the developer of ChatGPT, to emerge. Let's take capital first. You need funds to hire talent and train AI models requiring massive computing power. OpenAI has secured billions from big investors. Then people. This is a highly specialized field with still a relatively limited number of experts globally. OpenAI recruited specialists from top US tech firms and universities. OpenAI also had an ambitious mission, which is develop this incredible technology, do it in a way that we think is maximally beneficial to humans and get it out into the world for people. This was important to attract the most talented researchers when OpenAI was founded. OpenAI thrived in a risk-taking ecosystem, rapidly releasing models despite flaws. ChatGPT's launch secured a first-mover advantage. So why was much less happening in this area in Europe? Well, Europe has great researchers working on AI. In fact, one of the most cited AI academic papers in the world was written by the Dutch expert Dirk Kingma, one of the co-founders of OpenAI. But Europe often lacks the ability to translate academic research into business ideas. Most experts explain this with lack of capital. Some say Europe still has too many barriers to the free movement of digital goods across borders, making it hard for businesses to grow. Others claim that excessive regulation slows down innovation. And there are more cultural aspects, such as risk aversion in Europe and inability to quickly develop and launch new products, in opposition to the fail-fast mantra that guides the US innovation ecosystem. This does not mean that everything is doomed. Europe excels in AI applications for sectors like health and agriculture, with projects like Agros in the Netherlands. But Europe lacks big companies and a strong role in other parts of the AI technology stack, which could threaten the EU's economic security in the long run. AI's importance is growing, and the inaction will leave Europe falling behind in a technology vital for future applications across society, businesses and government. But the situation is not hopeless. In January 2025, Chinese startup DeepSeek launched a competitive AI model. The company claims the model costs just around 6 million euros to make, a mere fraction of the money spent by US companies. But it should be noted that the Chinese government has invested billions in AI research over the past decade. 
given this state of affairs, giving up is not an option for Europe. At least, not just yet. Before you leave, at Klingendal, we are conducting ongoing research on AI and more technology matters. If you want to stay up to date, follow us here or check out our Tech Topic webpage. There you'll find, for example, our report Decoding ChatGPT's Success. <laughs>